in this screencast, uh, we'll uh, um, start talking about uh, several mathematical uh, concepts that will come in handy uh, later in this uh, course. So uh, the first thing, uh, or concept rather, that we will uh, talk about is the concept of natural numbers. So n is typically um, uh, uh, stand for uh, uh, st typically stands for the set of uh, natural numbers, and uh, these are the numbers zero, one, two, three, uh, four, like whole numbers, non-negative whole numbers. Now, some um, uh, mathematicians um, uh, start um, natural numbers from one, right? One, two, three. Um, they don't think of zero as a natural number, but since we are computer scientists, we will keep um, uh, zero in because uh, to uh, a computer scientist uh, zero is of vital importance and uh, we start our counting from zeros. Um, the next thing is um, alphabets. So an alphabet is a uh, finite set of symbols. Right? The emphasis is on the word finite. Uh, so, and typically, uh, mathematically, it is denoted uh, with the Greek uh, letter sigma. So we can have multiple alphabets, so let's define uh, several alphabets. Um, so sigma 1 will consist of uh, two symbols, A and B. Uh, let's define sigma 2. Um, and this will consist of uh, uh, 10 symbols. So let's say 0, 1, 2, uh, 3, uh, and all the way to 9. So it's a, um, a set of digits in the decimal system. So um, A, B, and, uh, and the digits. These are individual symbols of uh, uh, sigma 1 and sigma 2. Now, in and of themselves, um, uh, uh, these symbols are meaningless. So, let me define another alphabet um, so that will consist of these two interesting symbols. Oops. Um. So, unless you know you're familiar with the Sanskrit alphabet, or and my apologies to the Sanskritologists for my um, uh, terrible handwriting. Um, so, unless you know modern Hindi or the Sanskrit, so uh, this uh, is b and this is m. Um, and, uh, but if you don't, then to you, uh, these symbols are meaningless. You can recognize that these are symbols, but uh, they don't carry much meaning. So, let's define another uh, sigma that consists of these interesting uh, symbols, it's like these three interesting symbols. Okay, so unless you're familiar with the Cyrillic version uh, used in the uh, Russian uh, language, right, so uh, you will not know that this is Y, this is Uy, and this is Yo. Right? These are the three symbols that are actually uh, absent from uh, uh, most uh, Latin alphabets. Um, so there's there's a great overlap between the Russian version of Cyrillic and the Latin alphabet, but these three letters are conspicuously uh, missing. So uh, natural numbers, uh, alphabets. Uh, so once we have an alphabet, uh, the next um, a construct that we can uh, 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 come up with is a, the concept of a string, and it's a string is a, um, a finite sequence of symbols, right? The emphasis is on the word finite and on the word sequence, so the order of those symbols uh, does matter. Right, so an alphabet is a finite set of symbols, right? the order doesn't really matter, right? but um, uh, a string is a finite sequence of symbols. So um, epsilon, uh, the Greek letter epsilon, uh, stands for the empty uh, string. And it's a string with no symbols. Right. In computer science terms, it's a string with no characters. Some programming languages um, uh, use double quotes, right? so double quotes, double quotes. Uh, so this is the empty string. Uh, some programming languages, you can just specify empty string with two single quotes. Right. Then, you know, in some programming languages like Python, for example, or Perl, you can use either or, so long as you don't combine. Um, combine them. So uh, here is a um, an example of a string AAB. Uh, so the quotation marks uh, uh, 
are not used because it's basically uh, understood that uh, these are these are strings. But if necessary, you know, sometimes we can use quotation marks if we really want to emphasize that this is a string. But typically, we won't. We'll omit it. Uh, omit them. Okay. Um, so, how do we measure the length of a string? The length of the string um, is the number of symbols in it, um, and it's a natural number. So, and this is where zero becomes um, uh, pretty useful because, well, because of the empty string. And uh, it is denoted by the two matching vertical bars around uh, the symbol that stands for a string. So, if x uh, is um, a string of a, a, b, then the length of x, um, all right, this is how it's two matching vertical bars, like a mathematical modulo operation, is is 3. So if x is um, uh, the epsilon, uh, the empty string, then the length of x is equal to 0. So that's why we kept 0 in. Okay. Uh, let me just um, grab some whiteboard space. Okay. So um, the uh, the next concept that we'll talk about is uh, string concatenation. A string concatenation um, uh, in theoretical computer science is a binary operation, right? Uh, and obviously, it doesn't mean that you can apply uh, uh, cannot concatenate more than two strings. You can but you just concatenate the first two and then um, uh, the third one, or uh, the second uh, uh, and third, and then uh, concatenate the third, the, the first one, uh, to the um, beginning of the concatenation of the second and the third. Uh, so, but let y and x be strings, then um, uh, x, y is the concatenation of x and y, uh, um, and that means the symbols of x followed by the symbols of y in that order. So the order does matter because we're talking about strings, not sets. So if x is equal to um, a, b, and y is equal to 1, 0, 0, then the concatenation of x and y is equal to a, b, 1, 0, 0. And no spaces in between. So despite my um, uh, handwriting, it appears to be spaces between b and 1, so there is no space. It's just a, b, 1, 0, 0. Unless space is part of your alphabet, of course, but which is which is not not the case uh, in this example. Now, if we concatenate um, uh, x and y in this case, uh, we're going to end up with a, b, c because uh, x is the epsilon, the empty string. And in general, uh, if um, uh, we concatenate epsilon, um, oops, uh, let me rewrite x uh, clearly for any string x. If we concatenate uh, uh, epsilon to the right of x or uh, to the left of x, uh, prefix and postfix, uh, we end up with x for any string x whatsoever. So then there's um, the power notation is used with string concatenation. It's to denote the concatenation of a string with itself. So x to the 0 is epsilon. The 0 concatenation, uh, concatenations of x with itself. x to the 1 is the string x itself. Uh, x to the uh, second is uh, x concatenated with x twice. And in general, x to the n is n concatenations of x with itself. So here's an example. Let's say that x is a, b, then uh, x to the third uh, will be a, b to the third. So uh, three concatenations of a, b uh, uh, with itself. So a, b, a, b, and a, b. No spaces in between a's and b's and so forth. So just a, b, a, b, a, b. So once we have strings, we can uh, define languages. 
and uh, a language, uh, formally speaking, uh, is a set of strings over uh, some specific fixed uh, alphabet. Um, another thing that uh, we want to uh, observe is that uh, uh, it is possible to have multiple languages uh, over defined over the same alphabet. Like for example, there are multiple languages defined over the Latin alphabet. There are multiple languages defined over the Cyrillic alphabet. Um, so there is Russian, there is Ukrainian, there is Belarusian, uh, there is Bulgarian, uh, Serbian, and so forth. Right. So there are multiple languages. Uh, that um, uh, uh, can be defined over, for example, sigma uh, equal to uh, zero 09. So here's a couple of examples. Um, so let's say we have this alphabet, uh, the alphabet uh, consisting of uh, uh, digits, right? Symbolic sim uh, symbols that denote digits in the decimal system. So L1 is the set of all strings over. Uh, uh, sigma, our alphabet, that end in zero. So, so we have zero, one, one, zero, two, three, four, five, zero, and uh, so forth. And then we can have another language, um, uh, say L2, uh, which is going to be the set of uh, all strings over sigma uh, that um, end in one. Uh, so one zero one zero 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 one nine one etc. So those are two different languages. 